Hey everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna. I am a portrait photographer in the Chicagoland area, and today we are doing an Indiana Jones inspired photo shoot. Since I live in Chicago and I'm nowhere near a desert or a jungle, I needed to find a location that would look like something that Indiana Jones would investigate. Lauren and I had come up with the idea of going to Lincoln Park. It has the Ulysses S. Grant Monument, and we thought that with these stone archways, it would be a perfect location for us to do the shoot. Once we got a couple shots that I really liked, it was time to open up Photoshop and begin editing. This is the image that we're going to be working with today. What you're going to do is you're going to want to find a photo of a dune. I didn't have any photos of dunes, so what I went ahead and did was download a photo out of Unsplash. They allow you to use the photos for free as long as it's not for commercial use. So what you're going to do is you're going to toggle the eye icon and you're going to make it hidden for now because we are going to work on that photo a little bit later. But in, essentially what we're going to do right now is we're going to zoom in and grab the lasso tool. The lasso tool is essentially going to do a wide selection of whatever you want to draw over. We're going to do a very rough cut because we're going to go over the edges later. So just make sure you are getting a majority of the image that you want removed so that way we can do less with the brush. From there you are going to select the dune image again make sure that it's visible and then hit mask. Now that we have the selection, we are going to get rid of some of these rough edges. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in and use the brush tool. Make sure that you are changing the opacity and the flow. You, I did something around 95 just so we can get through most of this image and kind of do it as quickly as possible. You can make it a very rough edit because we're going to erase some of this later. So you are going to make sure that if you are not seeing the dune or if you don't think that you're drawing over it, look on the bottom left and see if you are on the white selection because white reveals and black conceals. From there, obviously you see that there are some very rough edges. So we are going to then once again, change the opacity and change the flow. Do something a little bit smaller like 35 so that way it is nicely transitioning from the edges of the image to the dune. And then you are going to erase some of the image. So two things to keep in mind, the sleeves of the jacket and the hat are going to be pretty important in regards to an edge that you want to make sure that you have shown because Indiana Jones is very much known for his hat as well as his jackets. So make sure that you are doing as much as you can to make sure that that is visible in the image. And it's going to look something like this. The dune looked a little dark in my opinion, so I want to bring up the brightness. So I'm going to do curves and you're going to notice that as I'm increasing the brightness, it's increasing the brightness throughout the entire photo, which I did not want. So what you can do is you're going to right click and you're going to create a clipping mask. From there, it is just going to affect everything underneath it. So that is just the dune and you are going to change the hue and saturation as well. You're going to notice that the edit of the dune as well as the edit of my photo are completely different. So by doing this and reducing the saturation, you're going to make sure that when I do edits in the future, it's going to stay consistent throughout the entire photo. Now that the photo is pretty colored evenly, what you're going to do is select the top layer of your project and then do solid color. With the color picker, pick something orange or brown because that's going to be a standard color in the image since it's a desert and do the effects panel and pick something like a soft light. That's going to be something that looks slightly natural than any of the other effects and that's the one that I use a lot. You're going to do a, another solid color but you're going to pick black because we are adding a sun flare. You then on the top you want to do filter, render, and then lens flare. There are different options as well as making sure that you have to do a smart object but you can do whichever one you want. I personally like the 105 so I'm going to keep it that way and you're going to notice that you have no idea where this lens flare is going to go. So what you're going to do is you're going to reduce the opacity because you can see the layers underneath and try to adjust the lens flare as needed. So double click on the lens flare and try to adjust it in a spot where you think a sun would naturally go 
go and then you can do okay and it'll adjust as needed go back to make sure that the opacity is 100 percent on that layer and we're going to add another solid color on top of that one that one can be any sort of color you want but because the image is sort of in the brown and the orange i want to make sure that i'm staying consistent with that you want to make sure that it's only affecting the lens flare so create a clipping mask and then go into the effects panel i liked the soft light so i'm going to go ahead and click on that and then from there you click on the lens flare layer and then do the effects panel again obviously you could see that now it's bleeding through and going into the image and then you can pick whichever filter you like now that you've done most of the hard work, you can go ahead and change the details as much as you like. So if you think some of the colors aren't working as well as you thought, just double click on the color and then shift around and see what works better for the photo. But this will be the final result. One improvement that I have for my next photo shoot is to not shoot crazy high ISO. Because I wanted to incorporate the flash and get some heart shadows, I wanted to make sure that I could add that in the photo as well. And when I was shooting during golden hour, ISO 100 wasn't low enough for me to incorporate the flash and not be completely overexposed. So I used a neutral density filter at about six stops. But the problem was is that the image started to become bright at around ISO 3000. So this is obviously going to invite some grain and that's gonna become an issue when you are trying to edit your photos. So for the future, if I were to do this photo shoot again, I probably would use a polarizing filter or a filter at about three stops so it's not as significantly dark and would allow me to do a good amount that would not invite some grain. And that concludes this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified every single time I post a new video. If you like other Halloween or cosplay videos just like this, I have a playlist created which will be linked in the description box below as well as up here. But that is the end of this video. I hope you guys are staying safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.